Welcome to Agile Language School. Today we are going to explain non-negative and negative integer powers in R. You studied before the powers in grade 6 and 7. So let's remember some rules about powers. Number one. A to the power n equals A multiply A multiply A multiply A n times. For example, 2 to the power 3 equals 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 equals, yes, 8. Another example, 1 over 2 to the power 3 equals 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 multiply 1 over 2 equals 1 over 8. Rule number 2, a to the power negative n equals 1 over a to the power n. Here, the power is negative, so to make it positive, we convert the base into to its multiplicative inverse. For example, 2 to the power negative 3. The power here is what? Is negative so to make it positive convert the base the base is 2 into 2 its multiplicative inverse what is the multiplicative inverse of 2 yes 1 over 2 now the power will be positive so 2 to the power negative 3 equals half to the power 3 equals 1 over 8 another example 2 over 3 to the power negative 2 equals what? The power here is negative. So, convert the base into 2 its multiplicative inverse. The multiplicative inverse of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. Now, 3 over 2 to the power what? 2 equals, yes, 9 over 4. Number three, a to the power zero equals one. Any number to the power zero equals one. For example, two to the power zero equals one. Two over three to the power zero equals one also. So any number to the power zero equals one. Rule number four, 1 to the power n equals 1. 1 to the power 10 equals 1. Rule number 4. Negative a to the power n equals here, the base is negative, so if the base is negative, look at the power. We have two cases. If the power is even, it will be a to the power n. For example, 2 to the power 2 equals what here the base is negative so you should to look at the power the power is even so there is no negative it will be 2 to the power 2 equals 4 and if n is an odd number 
it will be negative a to the power n for example negative 2 to the power 3 the base is negative and the power is odd so it will be negative 2 to the power 3 equals negative 8 rule number 5 a to the power n multiply a to the power m equals a to the power n plus a to the power n plus m for example 2 to the power 2 multiply 2 to the power 3 equals what here the bases are equal so add the powers in the multiplication operation it will be 5 2 to the power 5 equals 32 rule number 6 a to the power n divided by a to the power m equals a to the power n minus m for example 2 to the power 5 divided by 2 to the power 3 equals here the bases are equal so we subtract the powers it will be 2 to the power 2 equals 4 rule number 7 and the last one a to the power n all to the power m equals a to the power n m for example 2 to the power 2 all to the power 3 equals here 2 power 2 power 3 so multiply the powers it will be 2 to the power 6 this is our rules for the powers and now let's see how to use them in solving exercises different exercises find in the simplest form each of the following number one square root of 5 to the power 3 equals square root of 5 to the power 3 means square root of 5 multiplied by itself three times so square root of 5 multiply square root of 5 multiply square root of 5 equals what yes 5 square root of 5 number 2 0 0.1 to the power negative 2 equals first 0 0.1 equals what yes 1 over 10 so it's 1 over 10 to the power negative 2 here the power is negative to make it positive convert the base into 2 its multiplicative inverse the multiplicative inverse of 1 over 10 is yes 10 so now it's 10 to the power 2 equals 100 number 3 2 to the power negative 1 over 3 to the power negative 1 multiply by 4 equals what we have 2 to the power negative 1 to make it to make the power of it positive move it from up to down and we also have 3 to the power negative 1 to make its power positive move it from down to up or from the denominator to the numerator so it will be now 3 
to the power 1 over 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 4. Again, if you have a negative powers, move it from up to down or from down to up and convert the negative sign in the power. Now we can solve it. 3 to the power 1 equals 3. 2 to the power 1 equals 2. Multiply by 4. So it's 3 over 8. Next. Find in the simplest form also. Number 4. 3 root of 3 to the power 7 multiply square root of 3 to the power negative 9 multiply square root of 3 to the power 4 equals what? Let's see. The bases are equal, right? So put square root of 3 only 1. And now write the powers 7 minus 9 plus 4 so it will be square root of 3 to the power what yes to the power 2 so it's equal to 3 another example Two square root of five multiply square root of three all to the power negative two equals what? Distribute the power over what beside the brackets here. So it will be two to the power negative two multiply square root of five to the power negative 2 multiply square root of 3 to the power negative 2 equals this is will be 1 over 2 to the power 2 as we said convert the base into its multiplicative inverse and make the power positive and this is will be 1 over square root of 5 to the power 2 and this is will be 1 over square root of 3 to the power 2 so it will be 1 over 4 multiply 1 over 5 multiply 1 over 3 equals what yes 1 over 60 Okay, another example. Number six. Square root of five to the power seven multiply square root of five to the power negative 5 over square root of 5 to the power negative 2 equals square root of 5 square root of 5 square root of 5 all the bases are equal so but square root of 5 only one after that write the powers the powers up as it here 7 so it will be 7 here is negative 5 so it will be negative 5 and the powers down put it by the opposite sign here is negative 2 so it will be positive 2 and now it will be square root of 5 to the power what to the power yes 4 
Square root of 5 to the power 4 equals, yes, 25. Another example. Square root of 18 to the power 5 multiply square root of 2 to the power 3 over square root of 12 to the power 4 equals what? First, under the root here is 18, 18 equals 2 by 9, right? 9 out of the root is 3, so it will be 3. Root 2 to the power what? Yes, 5 as it. Multiply square root of 2 to the power 3 over, here is 12. What by what equals 12? One of them is a perfect square, 3 by 4. And 4 out of the root will be 2, so it will be 2 square root of 3 to the power 4. This is, this is the first step. The second step, distribute the powers. Here, power 5, so it will be 3 to the power 5, multiply root 2 to the power 5, multiply here root 2 to the power 3 over distribute the power 5 4 here it will be 2 to the power 4 multiply square root of 3 to the power 4 right let's complete here equals Here we have 3, square root of 2, square root of 2, 2, and square root of 3. Try to make 3, square root of 3, like this. And try to make 2, square root of 2, like this. How you know that? Square root of 3, multiply square root of 3, equals what? 3. So we can say... The square root of 3 to the power 2 equals 3. Also, square root of 2 multiply square root of 2 equals 2. So, we can say that square root of 2 to the power 2 equals, yes, equals 2. And now, here is 3 to the power 5. So, I will write it as square root of 3 to the power 2 all to the power what? Yes, 5. Multiply square root of 2 to the power 5. Multiply square root of 2 to the power 3 over here 2. So I will write 2 as square root of 2 to the power 2. So it's square root of 2 to the power 2 all to the power. Yes, 4. Multiply square root of 3 to the power 4. Now have square root of 3 and square root of 2. So put only one square root of 2 and write their powers 5 3 and yes 8 so it will be 5 plus 3 here is 8 it will be negative 8 multiply square root of 3 to the power what here square root of 3 to the power 2 to the power 5 means the square root to the power yes 10 and here is 4, so it's 10 minus 4. Now, square root of 2 to the power what? 0. Multiply square root of 3 to the power 
6. In a number to the power 0 equals 1, multiply square root of 3 to the power 6 means the square root of 3 multiplied by itself 6 times. So it will be 27. So the answer is 27. Another example. Four to the power x multiply two to the power x minus three over eight to the power x minus two. Also here the powers are different. So Try to make them equal. How? We know that 4 equals 2 to the power 2. So I can write it as 2 to the power 2. To the power what now? X. Multiply by 2 to the power X minus 3 over. We know also that 8 equals 2 to the power 3. So it will be 2 to the power 3 all to the power x minus 2 equals 2 to the power 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power power and power we multiply them 2x multiply 2 to the power x minus 3 over here 2 to the power 3 to the power x minus 2 so it will be 2 to the power yes multiply 3x and 3 multiplied by 2 is negative 6 equals the bases now are equal so put one of them 2 and write the powers the powers up as it and the powers down by opposite sign here is 2x x minus 3 positive x minus 3 here is 3x it will be negative 3x negative 6 will be positive 6 equals 2 to the power what 2x plus x minus 3x equals 0 right negative 3 plus 6 equals 3 so it's 2 to the power 3 equals yes 8 Okay. Another example. Two to the power five in multiply three to the power two in plus one over four to the power negative in multiply. 6 to the power 2n plus 1 equals the same idea the bases here are different so try to make them equal here's 2 3 4 and 6 as we know we can write 4 as 2 to the power 2 and 6 equals 2 to the power 3 so now up is 2 to the power 5 in multiply 3 to the power 2 in plus 1 down it will be 2 to the power 2 to the power negative n so it will be negative 2 in multiply by 6 can be 2 multiplied by 3, right? So, distribute the power among them. It will be 2 to the power 2n plus 1. Multiply 3 to the power 2n plus 1 also. Now, we have equal bases. 3 
and to so put to first the power of two five in down negative two in it will be positive two in here two in plus one it will be negative two in minus one and now three power two in plus one minus two in minus one equals two to the power what two in and negative two in so it will be five in minus one multiply by three to the power what two in and negative in positive one and negative one so it will be three to the power zero that equals one so the answer will be two to the power five in minus one we finished our lesson for today have a nice day and goodbye